your experience through the Swift Academy turned out uh-huh. to be a good one for you. No, no, no drama. Well, you, well, you, yep. well, you did run into a little bit of drama, but, but, but over, it wasn't caused by fear. But overall, the 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 trainers was uh was on point. The the equi- sound like the equipment was good. And how many people was in the how many people was in the class, Woody? My class, it was only seven of us, but they have a class every week. So how many people my class is only how how many people uh-huh. how how many people was in there? Uh wait. Let that, that sound like I'm talking. You you want to go on record with this? About your experience? Oh, sure, yeah, I don't care. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have fell under uh what you call it. Uh, all right, so Swift uh so, so Swift got you, brought you in. Mm-hmm. What was yep. the, what what was the uh, what was the experience from uh, from start to finish? They was just on point, you know. the The training was real good. I mean, I mean, they had a lot of you know. You got tests every every day for the first week. You had some tests to do, but they you know they kind of help you through it, and they review everything. You know, they teach you what they need to teach you, and then they review it for the next day. And then you do the test, you know. So it's constant reminders, you know, of what you need, how to, you know, how to, how to answer the questions and all that. Constant reminders. Pre trip was really good too. Okay. By, by that first week, by that first week, he was on pre trip. Okay. Okay. So getting, so getting there. Um, of course, they 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 mm-hmm. put you on a bus. You you're from yeah. Maryland, right? Yes. All right. So being from Maryland, they 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 put you on a bus down to Virginia, I believe. Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia, yeah. and that's where you went. That's where you went to the school, and that's where you was in a hotel for how long? Uh, how long? Uh, was the program? Was it was it three weeks? Four weeks? What? It was supposed to be three weeks, but this is my fourth. Um, we started. Um. April the fourth was the first day, and the last day was supposed to be April April twenty fifth. But um, they did have a backlog because they had two classes of people who had had not passed maneuvers, and um, they had to fit those people in first, and then it just postponed us one week. Okay. Got okay. postponed. Yeah, so I should have been done on the twenty sixth, but. Today's the third, so I, I got it. Okay, so so the first the 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 first week you you say your class was seven, but how many people initially came in before it was before it dwindled down to seven? No, that 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 batch of students that's all it was was seven of them. Oh, right so they didn't so so Sorry. they didn't do like uh like like thirty or fifty and then. Kind of, kind of dwindled you down to the to the seven that made it. No, they don't. Now, Swift don't get rid of nobody. Um, now that is the wonderful part about Swift. You can be the worst driver in the world. They ain't gonna get rid. They gonna teach you until you learn everything. That's a whole turnaround right there. From what I heard before about Swift, they said the Swift Academy was like was like garbage. But I guess you. You 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 went to the one that really focused on getting you guys together. Yes, um, Richmond, Virginia. They told me that they are known as the best. That's why they never nobody ever has nothing bad to say about them. You never see you don't even see them on YouTube. Nobody complaining about them. There's a couple people that went there that that came out of that academy, but um, they said they they got a, like one of the best approval rates in that academy. The one in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. All right. So three, uh, three, four weeks. The first week, uh, you know, the old rigor morale sign in. When you went to go and take the drug test, right? They, uh, they, they gave, right. they, they gave you a drug test for this, for the school part. 
Does that roll over to the uh, to going into Swift, or do you got to take another drug test for the Swift orientation? It depends. It depends on how they do it. These different randoms that they take. So I started out with my, you know, during my D- DOT uh, test. Um, I there, I took the hair sample there before I got the Swift at one of my one, a local place. And then when you get when you arrive, they put, give you another drug test, which is the urine. Ooh, let's talk about the and hair that, and- because if if I'm not mistaken. I, I seen a picture of you, and you got you got right. some you you got some is 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 that all of your hair up there? Even though it's braided. Well, what I did was um, I had to cut my hair and braid it because they took it they took it from the scalp and it was not in a good place, so that's why I shaved it off on the side. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they they took at least they took you know about three inches from the top. They took it from the scalp. <laughs> how did you how, they, they how did you feel all that hair. How, how did you feel about that because you know you, we, we got a lot of people that's coming into the she trucking trucking group shout out to the she trucking trucking group but we got a lot of we, we got a lot of females that's coming up in there that's feeling some kind of way about the uh hair follicle about the hair follicle test what what, what do you what do you say being that you actually went through it what what do you what how do you feel about it and what suggestions that you can give them about you know about going by you know you know about going by how they take the hair out right just have them take it from the back i what i did i i had i did not know that they take it from the scalp whatever hair they're gonna take they take it from the scalp so um I didn't know that, so when I pulled a piece of my hair out, I didn't think that um, <laughs> that was going to happen. But um, but yeah, definitely have them go take the back out. Um, if you got real short hair, they they are definitely going to try to pick. They, you're going to have a little bit of a hole there because they got to take it from the scalp. They take it from what's growing directly out of your head. Okay. So yeah. mine was a longer. Stretch. And then I had another coworker; hers was shorter, so they had a bunch of little hair pieces, you know. But they got them all from that, from what's growing from their scalp on on to what have a much left. Yeah. Now they 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 took that. Uh, of course, it came. Of course, it came back negative. But have you uh-huh. have you have you ever uh, experienced drugs in your life, i.e., weed? Have you have you ever? Have you ever smoked weed in your life or anything like that? Uh, no. no so you, so you, you, you knew you ain't have no, no, no problems of, uh, of passing. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, I knew I didn't. Oh. But you know, there's a few in my class that was nervous about it. You know, and um, you know, a lot of the people who were nervous, they passed. They passed the test. You know, I mean, I think that you know. They say they go back sixty days or ninety days or whatever, but I I'm really thinking that they might just go back thirty. I'm thinking. You okay. Know? Okay, that's what's up. I All think right. they might just go back. All you right. Know, because they need they need drivers. Yeah. All right. They so, let us know that they need people out there. Yeah. All right. So with with everything with everything uh with everything good how. How was the hotel? What was the what was the hotel experience? Did, did, was it was it bed buzz? Was it what was the oh, hotel hell, experience? They put you in a nice hotel, nice comfortable. We were at the Hilton Garden Inn. They have the double tree, the Hilton Garden Inn, another hotel. They all three of them by Richmond Airport. Luxury, nice, nice hotel. Ooh, Good so. night's sleep. Oh, sound like they got yeah, you. They, nice they sound like they hooked you guys up, man. Yeah, they do. They really do. So everybody was happy. The only thing is that we did not have any food. You, you had to pay for your own food, provide your own meal. You know. Okay, that's what's up. You know. Now, what about what did did, did are you, are you in a room solo or they they teamed you up with somebody? Everybody comes in a solo in a in a king size bed. Or a adult two doubles, 
or two, you know, two double beds. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so and room service by request. Mm-hmm. So the hotel experience was good. The 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 four weeks was yeah. good. The last yeah. the 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 last week they got they you know they they buckled down on you guys to make sure that you guys was ready. The day of the test, what happened? The day of the test, you know, we went out to, because I had, you know, gotten my permit after, I mean, before February the 7th, we tested all the way out in North Carolina at Trans Tech, the school out there. And uh, we um, got there. Um, Within 10 minutes, my one of my classmates took his test. Within another hour, I took mine. Okay. Wait, and, uh, wait, 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 North mm-hmm. Car- North Carolina? Wait, I, yeah. wait, I thought you was in Virginia. I was in Virginia, and we took a bus yesterday to North Carolina. Wait, y'all, yeah. y'all took a, y'all took a bus? A bus, yep. So no, we, didn't, we didn't drive. That was that's another thing. If if somebody comes up to the to the restaurant, one drop definitely drive because then it cuts out so much time. If you may have to go to Trans Tech or whatever, but I don't know. I think we may be one of the last people because that February seventh. I don't know. We may be a few of the last people for that February seventh um deadline. So I guess the the so in or in in when you get. You, uh, uh, approved for the Swift Academy, and let's just say mm-hmm. that you don't have no way into getting down there. They they will get you down there by bus. Yes, yeah. they will pay for you a for a Greyhound, um, a Greyhound bus. Yeah. Any any other options that was available to you guys? Like, yo, fly me. Um, your own, yeah, your own options. I mean, if you'd like to. You know, do it yourself or anything. You know. Oh my God! You said your you own options. options, but 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 the Swift Academy. But they'll reimburse you. Oh, okay, but the Swift Academy slash Swift would get you down to the orientation to the academy by bus. Yep. Jesus Christ! How yep. long? How long was that bus ride from Maryland to Virginia? <laughs> Eight hours. Fuck, and I, I'm I'm assuming y'all. I, I'm assuming layovers. How how many layovers? Um, oh, it was only like twenty to thirty minutes at a time each layover. But we went from um, we went to rally, we went to um, what's the other place? I forgot the. Other. And then we ended up at Charlotte. All yeah. right, so they got yeah. so so they got you in via the weekend. Like you you was on a bus. For the weekend to be there for class that Monday morning or what? How how did that work? Yeah, we um that we came that night and then that morning we had testing. Like we just it was just today. No, 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 no. I'm talking about when you're from from Maryland to Virginia. Say it again. What were you speaking of? No, I said from Maryland to Virginia. They got they they got you in that week. Like you came in on the weekend and you was ready for that, ready for school Monday. Yeah, that's how I was. I came in on a Saturday. Okay. And I was ready for my. Okay, now, yeah. now coming to the coming to the test to to test uh-huh. out. Uh, of uh-huh. course, they 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 test you out in a in an automatic or a manual. Uh, automatic. Everyone tests in automatic at Swift. So that means up, so, you know, so so that means your license is restricted to uh, automatics. Yeah. Yeah. Is there is there and they said is is there any kind of way or or doing the doing the class session uh, where they were able to tell you that you can up upgrade your license to be unrestricted was that conversation had no it was not it wasn't had but um they kind of well they briefly talked about it but um they just said you can 
you can uh, upgrade if you would like, but not, I don't, they didn't offer it to Swift. They didn't offer that to Swift, but they said that, you know, the industry is turning into automatic. That's just the way of the future. Right. So, um, they said that, that you're, you're not going to, you know, basically be confronted with an automatic, you know, that's what they told us. Yeah. Well, that some this is the way of the future. Well, here's, here's, here's a tip. All right. Um, and that's if you want to a lot you know a lot of you guys are you know contempt with you know just having an automatic license but if you want to up the skill level you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. try and mm -hmm. look for like technical college let them know that you already got your a license and all you just need is i mean yeah your a license and all you need is to get the restriction lifted. You probably might have to come out of the okay. pocket a little bit more, but you won't have to go okay. through. You won't have to go through all the issues that you went through to get your class A. You know, you just they, they probably might just break it. I mean, break it down. Just, just, you know, train you how to how to double clutch, how to shift properly uh and all that mm -hmm. good stuff and then when you go test out of course you got to test out again you got to show the you know instructor that you can that you can drive a manual uh the instructor um so this was like uh an actual dmv in instructor um the, the school trans tech is dmv is certified they're certified by the the, the whatever the dot or, or the DMV, they're they're certified to give tests on their premises. Okay, so okay. We was out. On, yeah, we we're on a dirt road. I mean, a little little place on their property. Um, much much different than you know the Swift Range, um, but the cones are set out for for all the back end maneuvers, and um, the truck is uh, international. He has a, like a forty eight foot or something like that. All right, so you did. So they they took you out on the streets. Uh, what what was some of the what was some of the conversation? If it was like you know what was what was kind of what was kind of the instructions that the instructor was giving you while you was driving? Oh, he was just telling me you know where to go to keep straight. You know, um, you know he um, you know had me to make some left turns, had me to make some right turns. Had me to uh, pro I had approached a couple of bridges, a couple of low. It looked like they were low, but they were not low. And um, I did highway driving for about twenty five minutes. Okay, twenty did he, minutes. So did he take you across some railroad tracks and stuff like that? Did he? Yes. Have, did he have you to uh, call out some signs or anything like that? No, he just monitored me the whole time. He just monitored to me the whole time. So when we go across railroad tracks. You have to slow down, and then you look left to right at while you're crossing them. That's awesome. what we do. It. That's awesome. what they do it. Sound like sound like yeah. you aced it. So when you came back to the yard <laughs> to do the to do the maneuvers, mm -hmm. woo, how how mm -hmm. uh, what 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 did he what? All right. So what was the maneuvers that you that that he gave you, and what was the what was the final maneuver? Was it the was it the alley dock or the parallel park? And how did you do? Um, we didn't. Oh, well, if you got here your permit before February seventh, we didn't have to do the parallel. So, but we had to alley dock. So that was the maneuver that I didn't know. So, so they, um, they, um, with that maneuver, they helped you go through it. That maneuver. Which one? They, they, the alley dock. They help. They help you to. Uh, they walk you through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they, they walk you through. So, so, so how many? So they'll how, just you know tell you how many pull. Tell you how, how, many, how you need to turn the wheel. How how many pull ups did they did they uh did they offer you before they you know like how how many pull ups are you allowed two. before? Oh, you only allow two pull ups before they say. Eh. Yeah, two pull ups and two free pull ups and two free get out and look. All right, and I, I I take it you used all of them, huh? 
no, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't use it. I didn't do it on the maneuvers. It's just that on everything else, I didn't. I scored. I didn't score as well. Hold on one second. So you didn't. So, so you had to get out and look, though, right? I mean, you you got out and look. No. Right. No. I didn't do no. I didn't do no get out and look. I didn't. I just. Uh, I just. I just went hella slow. I went slow, like very slow. They ain't got no uh, <laughs> rule on going slow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so now that you so got so well. so now that you got your license, congratulations on that. Thank um you. what did, did you are you able to uh are you able to get some endorsements on your license or or no? Yes, I am. And when I go home, that's that's the main thing I'm going to try to do. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, me um me and my classmates about to go to uh, the restaurant up here to get some food because we have not eaten the whole thing on day. All right. Well, that's um, what's up. We're going here, celebrate, get it in. Uh, thank you for thank coming. You. Thank you for coming back on and sharing your experience with uh, with Thanks. the Swift Academy, man. Uh, again, the best conversation starts mm-hmm. here on the Lockout Man podcast show. You guys know what it is. Big G's got it locked.